Goodout can't make 3D games, Goodout is only meant for 2D development. This is a statement that we sometimes hear. In today's video, we'll be discovering if Goodout is not capable of creating 3D games and it's only meant for 2D development or if it can actually handle 3D development perfectly. I'll be showing you 5 3D games created in Goodout and at the end I'll give you my conclusion. Now, let's start. Join Sonic in the high-end adventure of a lifetime. The evil Dr. Eggman has built a gigantic interstellar amusement park bursting with incredible rides and colorful attractions, but he's powering it with a captured alien race called Wisps. Use Sonic's lightning speed to free the Wisps and learn the secrets of their amazing powers as you explore six unique colorful worlds, each filled with dangerous enemies and hurdles to overcome. Now, with stunning upscale visuals, additional features, a new game mode and enhanced gameplay, it's the ultimate Sonic Colors experience. Sonic will be tested on this exciting journey to free the Wisps, but with their help and yours, it's a test he'll pass with flying colors. Uncover the eerie secrets of a forest graveyard trapped in time in engraving. Chart your way through a shifting natural labyrinth using hand-drawn maps and confront the enigmatic spirits haunting this somber world. Journey into the heart of a mystical forest graveyard with engraving. Step into the life of Silas, a man once motivated by greed, now entangled in an intricate web of ancient curses and haunting spirits. Some key features are first-person exploration with unique map drawing mechanic and map-driven gameplay, an atmospheric original soundtrack, navigate the shifting forest and its spectral inhabitants. In engraving, each choice could be your last as you wave through a hauntingly beautiful and stable world. Will you escape this shadowy labyrinth or become, or become a permanent etching in its tormented story? This infection is a sci-fi horror game set in the depths of space where you can play alone or as part of a crew of up to four players. You will be tasked with identifying and destroying deadly nanomachine outbreaks on a variety of procedurally generated space-faring vessels whilst fighting for survival. You will be haunted by horrifying amalgamations of flesh and machine whilst having to deal with the dangers of living in space as the environment around you is being corroded away slowly but surely. Explosive, decompression, oxy oxygen deprivation and machinery malfunctions will be the least of your worries. Trust nothing, not even your team, as things will not be as they seem. Tail Quest Defense is an action-packed tower defense game in which you play as Nell, who tries to defend his world from the invasion of Nance, robots which are kidnapping fluffy inhabitants of the Riventail, a divided world floating in the sky. Stop Invader by placing towers at the strategic points around colorful landscapes. Collect hidden treasures, use the environment to your advantage, and most importantly, save Nell's fluffy friends. Pingo Adventure is a cute 3D platformer in a physics simulated world with jiggly plants, bouncy bridge, springy rope, etc. Explore the adorable and interactive 3D world from rainforest, ancient ruins to dungeon filled with hot lava and solving puzzles designed for the physics simulated environment. But that's not all, there are mini games in between the platforming level which can be unlocked and played in the arcade mode. And don't forget to customize your own Pingo with all the costumes that can be unlocked from the adventures. Bonus: Rings of Saturn The unexpected discovery of valuable minerals within the Rings of Saturn has sparked a thriving space excavation industry. You control an asteroid excavation ship hoping to make it reach out on the rings, but soon you find out that all is not as it appears. Experience a hard sci-fi story backed up with real physics and science. Do you still believe Goodout isn't able to handle 3D? Of course, it isn't the same as Unity for example, but you can still achieve pretty good results with it. 
Remember that Gujot is open source, which means that it's not owned by anybody and you pay zero dollars to use it. Considering all this, Gujot is still a good option to consider to create 3D games. However, if what you're looking for is outstanding visual quality and high-end performance, you're gonna face some limitations and in this case you should go for other options in the market. Anyway, I hope my point was clear and I'm looking forward to hearing more from your side in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel to learn more, see you in the next one and bye bye.